Yo, what's up? This is like 7 and TCG coming with you with a, another deck profile video. And in today's deck profile, we're going to be doing Porygon Z. Or two. Um, it is an interesting deck, a very fun deck, and then it can beat some stage 2 Pokemon. Now, this deck is kind of weak to basic Pokemon. That's why we have a Ranguru and. Um, Taurus DX and Tapu Koko in here to disperse some damage and then hit him hard with um, Taurus DX or Ranguru. But um, let's get started with the deck profile. We have one Ranguru just for the instruct ability and the psychic ability can come in handy with the Alolan Ninetales baby form. Um, so um, you wouldn't get stuck with basic Pokemon. But in this deck, that Alolan Ninetales baby form doesn't really matter. And now we have Porygon Z. We do a 444 uh, line. Obviously, you want a 444 line in here. And into lies. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may de evolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon by putting the highest stage evolution card on it into your opponent's hand. So that's pretty why we have that's. Especially what this deck is meant to do to de evolve and to hit him harder with Top of Coco. I only have one Top of Coco promo, so it's kind of hard to have Top of Coco spreading damage like that when you only have one of him. We do have Taurus DX for um, all of the attack is good in, in this deck raid. This attack does 10 more damage for each damage cannon on the Pokemon. Horn attack does 60 damage in the Map Ball GX. This attack does 30 damage for each damage kind of onto this Pokemon, which is pretty good. And that's the GS attack we want for this game. The only GS attack Pokemon in this deck. And um, for top of Coco, the um, flying flip, this attack does 20 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon. And Electro Ball does 100. We have 4D Evolution Spray. We have 3 Word Candies to evolve our Pokemon straight up. We have 1 Rescue Stretcher to get our Pokemon back in action to face the terror of Guardi and Metagos. We have 4 Ultra Balls for consistency, 4 Pro Towns, so it's easier to take damage from it. I don't have Edge Gun yet as well, but I will get there. We have 4 H Rollers to bring back our Pokemon Z, so we have 8 D Evolution Sprays. We have 1 Delinquent because we do run stadiums, so why not put Delinquent in when you run stadiums? Uh, we have 4 Guzmon to switch over. Um, Pokemon, if you get stuck in active, we have four ends, more consistent, we have one security for dam double damage. We have four Sycamores, we have four DCEs for the colorless Pokemon, and we have Sand Fairy and Jesus because. So, um, yeah, let's get right into it with a battle and see what we can do. And I do have a Raichu and a Lolan Muck GX that profile coming with you by tomorrow. So hopefully you guys subscribe for more sweetness TTG deck profiles. And like this video as well. We do get the heads. We are gonna say yes. So it looks like we mullion. In this deck, mullions, um, not so much. Maybe once or twice, and then you're good to go. Hey, we do have a Porygon, so that is A-OK, -okay. and like I said, you only mulligan once or twice. You don't have an Ultra Ball to get another Porygon, and we then we can end our means or a second more, if I meant to say. Yeah, that's what we want to do. We want to get rid of Acerola and Fairy Energy to get another Porygon.
Oh, type of cocoa. I think type of cocoa is fine. We won four before we go on two, so that's a okay. And it looks like he doesn't really run in the stadiums. Yeah, Ranger. I'm just gonna pass it off to our good friend P two M. Looks like he's putting a fighting fairy belt on his top of Coco. Let's see what he can do. All he can do is just passes his turn just like that. We are going to put the DCE onto our top of Coco. I should have just put the fairy, that's a waste. <laughs> the DCE, we are going to retreat. We are going to use um, Professor Kikui, um, Ultra Ball, this, and Guzma. Get Porygon 2. Wall and use blind flip. Now I don't know if he's running every any evolution Pokemon, so it's gonna be pretty hard for us in this matchup. But let's see what we can do. Skyla, can Ultra Ball, so he can have a Pokemon onto his bench. Now let's see what he gets. He does get a Voltorb, which I could de evolve that when he turns into a. Actually, I think he. What I'm thinking is he wants to destroy his Voltorb so I can go on to his top of Coco. I do have Porygon Z, but I don't think that is useful in this matchup right now. This kind of sucks. We do. We want to put that there. Rare Candy and Fairy Energy. We are going to get Taurus GX. And he knocks out my tap of Coco out. Pouring on down. Just 
drop a one. We evolve. I don't really know what to expect because Top of Coke is down, I can't do any damage spreading. I do have a recipe stretcher and a deck. Let's get down a Pikachu, which I think he doesn't run that right to. This is a very slow match. Say hello so he can go a little bit faster. Does have West for Baton onto his or Cry Cray. And he finally passes. Alright. Put that there. I just want to draw three cards. So I can get a DCE or something. Did not get it. That's okay. We got Pooh Town. And we can pass. Okay. Looks like you're gonna put a lightning energy onto the cray cray. Is it going to retreat into the top of Coco? That's what I would do. No, he just turbo stone. And passes. Okay, that was weird. Um, I guess we can do that. We can de evolve them later. I just need to draw cards so, so I can get a DCE here going. So, why not? I need a DCE. They have an end, that's perfect. <laughs> no DCE, wow. We're gonna pass. Alright. This is not going into our favor whatsoever. using the right shield that does 50 damage for every Pokemon on the bench, on their bench, not every Pokemon. You do have Acerola, so that's no problem.
Got Po Town up there. And pass. We need some de-evolution sprays. We only use two, right? I toss one out, and then uh, no, we use one. That's good. Hmm. How many Ace of Elos have you used? Two, we got two more in deck. That's fine. He's gonna use his Tapu Koko, apparently. Finally get that DCE, and now we can end. We do have the evolution spray, so that's perfect. I have another DCE. That is fantastic. Should have probably de-evolved the other one. So that's fine. Yeah, I saw the. I made a misplay. I thought that had a Porygon too underneath it. I forgot I wrote candy. It. Perfect. We have one more left. We could Acerola retreat. But we couldn't have to think out about that Cray Cray is gonna get us. So let's Acerola. Think out this putting on. Do that and do this. And yeah, pass it. Nothing much we can really do. Max Luxor, okay. Misses. Nine cards in deck. Two energies out of the deck. Knocking out my Porygon. Perfectly fine with me. Do have Rice Fuse Stretcher. Perfect. Perfect. So we get three out from the deck. Copper Coco, Aranger, and Poison. Poison.
put down another electric energy onto that motor. Coco, we can do some, uh, uh, do some of her, boom, boom, fine flight. onto his deck into his hand, probably put it onto his Voltorb or to his Pikachu. Does get another Tapu Koko, what? Ah, oh, this might be a game. Close. Die Hard Claw for the knockout. That was a good game. Good long game for you guys. That's how this deck is supposed to work. Now, if you have Espeon um, EX, yes, take it. Put it in the deck, but I didn't. I think that would make this deck way, way better than it already is. Hope you guys like this video today. Subscribe if you're new. And keep on playing. Um, but um, I'll catch you guys later in the next one. Peace out. This has been Lucky Zone TTG, your boy. And yeah, see you later. Peace.